Well, hello everyone, Marco's back, the new proud American conservative with more important info not too many of you can stomach. Um, don't mind the look, it's uh, raining, it's windy out here, it's early in the morning, uh, me and my boy are hanging out, the girls are at home uh, doing their thing. Just had some breakfast and uh, going for a little stroll out here in the neighborhood. Um, just want to show you something here real quick that uh, I've been noticing more and more. If you see that uh, sea of cars parked in front of all these homes, on an average, four, four cars in front of each home that is about 1,700 square feet um, at the most. So on an average, 1,500 square foot homes. Yes, the location here is amazing. You cross the street, you are uh, on Gulf Coast, the most uh, beautiful beaches maybe in the world. But, so these are not just guests, because I noticed the same cars. Uh, these people are living here. This is um, just what, been, what has been going on in America. Family members piling up together because um, they can't afford to live on their own. So you got multi-family members living here. And um, this has been an ongoing problem now. Even, I, even uh, when, I, when I was living in Las Vegas, I've been noticing this a lot. Um, all, again, let me repeat it, before Corona was ever mentioned. And today politicians are gonna use um, Corona as a perfect scapegoat to take your rights. We all know what's been going on with that. But also they're using it for the true upcoming financial and social meltdown that is taking place. Uh, they're using it as a scapegoat. This was gonna happen no matter what, the crash that we witnessed in March, and that's just a prelude of uh, what is really coming. See all these cars? Again, three, four. Sometimes they're parked right on the grass. Uh, most garages are converted into living spaces. So that's where we're at, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you've been lied to. You've been fed nothing but lies uh, throughout the entire Obama administration, now uh, Trump administration. This is not about Republican, Democrat, left, right. This is about you being uh, your own bank, your own security, and how do you become your own bank? You gotta hold hard, tangible assets in your possession, okay? The more people are telling you that that is the stupidest idea ever, the more you need to look into it because the herd gets slaughtered every time, okay? You're not supposed to know about stuff like this. You're supposed to transact in the paper currency uh, all the time. You're not supposed to look else, elsewhere. Uh, cryptos are being slammed constantly by the uh, present administration. Nobody in the White House is gonna do anything besides what their owners, the true invisible enemy, the banksters, what they tell them, okay? Maybe Trump had some good ideas when he got in good intentions but once we got in he was uh, basically told what to do and there is nothing he can do about it so it goes to show you that you got to protect yourself you owe it to your family you cannot be complacent right now you have to really uh, look into things you got to do your own research if you never looked into finances if economics never uh, interested you because you uh, you think that the dollar is always going to be king you want to keep uh, pushing your head deeper in the sand, you will get cleaned out completely. You will be out in this street trying to get in one of these homes to spend the night or to look for food thrown out if you're lucky not to get shot because almost everyone definitely in this neighborhood has uh, a lot of guns. And I know just based on stickers, you know, NRA and a lot of American flags, don't tread on me, etc. You get the idea. You see this again? Let me show you again. Yes, sometimes you have six, seven cars. Yes, people did come in just for the weekend so they can go to the beach, but mostly it's like I said, it's the same cars. Um, so continue preparing. Do not listen to th this crazy narrative that we are in a V-shaped uh, recovery. We might be for a little bit. Uh, there is always opportunities in this madness to get in and out. You know, my uh, motto is in and out procedure when it comes to uh, equities, 
when it comes to uh, even uh, mining stocks. I don't like to hold anything, including cryptos, for too long. I know that's gonna uh, raise a lot of uh, issues when it comes to the crypto community, because you know it's all about buy, hold, and just wait. Um, I, I don't care what anyone says. You get profits. You put in a thousand dollars. It's now two thousand dollars. Take a thousand dollars out. Put some cash in the bank for your bills. Put some cash at home and buy 20% of that, so $200 out of that 1,000 into silver or gold. If you don't do it, you are a fool, okay? So that's the plan. So in and out procedure can still work. I'm looking at the bond market right now. I uh, made a video on this uh, last night. I believe that it's a ticking bomb. Um, it can get uh, pretty interesting right now if the Fed loses the handle of suppressing these uh, rates and people cannot borrow anymore. This can be pretty bad. Money is flowing into the stock market. That's why the bond market yields are rising. Um, bonds are completely different than the stock market. In the stock market, if you have a particular stock, let's say, uh, I don't know, uh, GE for instance, and a lot of people buy it, of course that stock goes up. When it comes to bonds, if a lot of money comes in, the bond yields drop, okay? If money comes out, it rises. Just picture right now, Federal Reserve with the Treasury Department, Steve Mnuchin and Trump, uh, panicking, um, moving money from the stock market to bond market, from the bond market to the stock market. And then you have, you know, another problem, which is the real estate bubble, that if this pops officially, uh, it will take the stock market and the bond market together. So we have all bubbles uh, issue here, not to even go into the student loan debt, credit card debt, that's just another one. Um, prepare, become your own bank, don't trust anyone. If you like this video, share it, like it, uh, make a comment down below. If you don't like it, you can press thumbs down. I'm a big boy, I can handle it. Have, um, state your facts underneath. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me, tell me what do you see happening here. So again, God bless you all and uh, take care.